So I have so much to say and you know, it's, it's like I've got a thousand fl thoughts flying around and I just can't quite grab one to, <laughs> to get it said. But we are really excited to go to Mali. Um, we put so much effort into stuff, which is just kind of being a good steward of the opportunity that the airline gave us to take three pieces of luggage for the same price of two. And then we've got these guys and uh, those two things pretty much keeps us... You know where my backpack is? Buddy, that was kind of your whole job this morning to know where your backpack is. Do you not know where your backpack is? Where did you last see it? In the garage. What does it look like? Blue. It's in the van. Right as you open the door. Which is what I told you. So, we are getting there. Your pack pack? I don't think you know which one is yours yet. I'll, I'll show you in a second here. Okay. Better go. We're trying to get out of here in about 15 minutes, so. There you go. Put this backpack on. Dorothy, baby. Really? Whoa, whoa. Oh my goodness. There you go. You got, where you go? Okay, there you go. How's that? I feel like we might have overpacked you. All right, we're all in the car, ready to go. Yay! Who wants to go to Mali? Me. Got it. Drew? Yep. No. Thanks. No, that's a downer. <laughs> here's all of our stuff loaded up to go, and here's our unlikely chauffeur. So we uh, made it to the airport. That went pretty well. We all of our luggage unloading. You can see that it's like 1,200 pounds of luggage right there. That uh, went well, but our flight was canceled and we didn't know about it. So, uh, yeah, we're not going today. That unplanned missed flight provided one last American memory for us as we walked around the neighborhood looking at Christmas lights and singing carols. Yay, Drewby! Drew came back dutifully for a second day to help us drive to the airport and bring our car back for us. What's with your flashy lights? Flashy lights? Just saying hi to me? Yeah. Hug. Ooh. There it is. You gonna drive that back for us? Mm -hmm. All right, day two on our way to the airport. Now we're really ready to go. Right, babe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got a good feeling about this one. We didn't have any trouble checking in the second time. They were ready for us and everything went smoothly. Even family came back for a second trip and stayed with us until it was time right. to go. Good job, rolling. Rolling, rolling. Good job carrying that backpack, Dorothy. Uh oh, just from you got that, man. Sorry, I slowed you down. Oh, uh -oh. ruin your momentum. Oh, there it is. The Which way are we going? Over there, does. Hi, let's go with security, guys. Yep. Adam, come on, we got a zigzag bit. Turn, Dorothy. Good job, Jet. You got all the way up there. So, is this pretty much what you imagined it would look like if you saw us walking through the airport? Okay. We'll skip video of us going through security and go right to showing that our gate is always the furthest gate away. and I was looking straight ahead.
Dorothy. Well, Dorothy. Jeff's coming to help you. How you do have one Our kids are such an asset to us, serving us and one another. Help help the boys set up with these. Alright, y'all got what you need? You guys good? Yep, I can do it. You look good. Everybody buckled tight and paying good attention to me? <laughs> Our kids really look forward to flying on airplanes. They love to go somewhere and it's about the most screen time they get in any given four year period. <laughs> okay. Well, she was having trouble carrying it, so let me see if I can't hook it on here. From the small Grand Rapids airport to the hub at Atlanta, get our next flight headed for Paris. Though the kids all wanted to ride on the escalators, we generally no. tried to avoid them. Another time, buddy. There will be opportunities. Can you keep up with me, Teresa? Yeah, look how big that one is. Us in a elevator. Elevator music. When we get to the bottom, when we get to the bottom, can we ride on the escalator? Ride the escalators? Yeah, now that we got this far. This is where we start to get really worn out. We have no pictures from the Paris airport as we were running the whole time trying to get on that flight. But the kids were feeling relatively at home on the planes now, the only drawback being that Tr Jacob had to be held at every moment, awake or asleep. By the time we got to Mali, the kids were just fried. Even though it took us hours to get out of the airport and loaded up to go, Zach was the only one who snapped a picture. We were just so exhausted. We slept 14 hours that first night, and crashing became a regular part of our day for the next few days as we got over jet lag, as did buying fruits and toiletries on the street, taking baths every single day, because you always need it, changing money with a guy you know that sits on a lawn chair by the side of the street, taking taxis, getting our phones restarted, dealing with interesting electrical issues, and seeing all sorts of things all over town. And best of all, being with friends that we really love, At 5.30 a.m., we woke our kids up and loaded a good bit of our stuff into these two rented cars. We headed out of the city, into the country, south, towards our hometown. Our kids were great company, easy to be with. The drive was familiar. The humidity starts to rise. There begins to be more and more trees. And then we get to this spot, this turnoff, where we leave the pavement and head for Cagiolo on the dirt road. 
And it feels so right to be leading our children to an understanding that it's right and normal to leave the comfort of family and home and to go to a difficult place where we can make Jesus known. Roads are improving. We can move at a pretty good clip, even on a dirt road. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. You guys are being good. I love it. Then we get to the GAR, the bus station. That first place that Heidi and I took a bush taxi to go to Ivory Coast together. The place we spent our first year of marriage. Just a stone's throw from home now. Everything is familiar. Most people here know our names. These videos don't even show you how filthy it really looks. And there it is. The White House, as people around us refer to it. So pleased to see how green our yard looks, even as the dry season comes on. There's my shop. I'm excited and a little afraid to get in there. Yep, you can go, but when you see it, you stop to move and you can get out. Are you excited to be here, buddy? Yeah, let's go see this place. A quick look around inside and we're home. Want to come see our house? Home is really a place you make. Not, no doggy in the house. Just leave it. There you go. All these lights, which is so weird. We'll be ready for visitors any day now. Kitchen's so empty. Everything feels so small. <laughs> yeah, it's in the water. Oh, look at all the furniture, all just stacked up. 